Okay guys, uh, I said I was going to make a video here how to hover with the Huey. Um, I'm going to re-record this because last time my mic just didn't pick it up. Uh, so if you look at your trim setting at the top left here, um, for the Huey Slick, you don't really need to set it too much below the middle mark. Um, once you've done that, uh, you're going to set your left rudder pedal a little bit to the left there just so you don't start spinning to the right. And just kind of slowly gain control of her. And once you've done that, um, eventually you're just going to kind of maybe look off in a distance or maybe look somewhere out the window at a certain spot and try to aim at it. That way you can control the hover. Um, when you start looking all over the place and doing crazy movements, you're going to lose control pretty quickly. Um, so just take a lot of practice, take it easy, uh, little small movements. Um, I don't know about any of you guys, but I have an X55 HOTUS and um, it seems to allow quite finite movements with the cyclic um, without having to engage the spring, um, which quite it helps quite a bit. Um, so with your landings, just go nice and slow, just ease them in there. And just have a nice gentle landing, uh, play around with the rudder pedals a bit, just to keep her aimed which way you want. Uh, just take in mind as you're raising and lowering the collective, um, the chopper will spin different directions. So keep that in mind. And like I said, keep practicing and keep an eye on that trim indicator. Uh, for this next one, I've picked a attack chopper. Um, so your trim is going to be set a little bit different. Take a look at the top right there. Uh, it's going to be somewhere in that area. Um, you'll figure it out uh, once you start playing around with it. So this is my average loadout. Um, I care about 70% fuel, full flares, rockets, and minis, and it's worked for me, so. Anyway, once you get hovering, um, just take it easy, small little movements. Uh, you could have a slow moving hover, um, which helps, especially if you have other airplanes moving around the runway. Um, you don't want to come in there and be with your tunnel vision on the landing and all of a sudden someone... <laughs> comes out of nowhere. Uh, but yeah, just take it easy, go slow. Now uh, bear with me, I'm using a free version of Fraps. Uh, I had to clip a whole bunch of these together, so there's a bunch of scenes missing. Um, you get the gist of it, hopefully. Um, so yeah, just small little movements, take it easy. Uh, it does help if you have like a throttle on all that. I guess you could figure it out with the keyboard too. Uh, yeah, just, just go slow, little movements. Uh, just slight rudder pedal changes when you want to change direction unless you want to do quick 180s, 360s in your chopper it's up to you whatever allows you to have fun uh, so yeah just play around, it does take quite a bit to get used to the hovering uh, there's not much you can really say other than just practice, practice, take your time small little movements. And uh, when you guys jump in the server, maybe you'll get some people you can practice with. Um, they'll help you out. Uh, I know that 229 has quite a few people flying Hueys. If you see one of those dudes, I'm sure they'll help you out. They seem pretty legit. Uh, or you, maybe you could make your own map. It's pretty fun. It's a steep learning curve. Same as flying a Huey. Uh, but yeah, so here some dude tried to join me. I don't know, maybe if he was in the same forum we were earlier on Facebook talking about hovering. And I kind of just linked up with me for a bit. And so basically, just take it easy, hover. And keep an eye on your surroundings. Um, I'm not flying with track IR or anything like that, hence the tunnel vision. Um, 
one of these days I'll afford that. I might even just go with an Oculus Rift, which is pretty intense, I hear. But yeah, just nice and gentle, just ease it in there. Don't fly it like you stole it. Uh, things get easier over time. Um, other things that can help, um, you guys fly around and follow the lines on the runway. That helps too. Uh, in real life, you train with that kind of stuff as well. So here, I'm just going to show you a nice, slow, kind of easy trim setting change. If you change the trim too fast, you can start getting all over the place with the roller coaster with your chopper. Uh, so here, if you look at the top left trim setting, I'm just going to slowly lower it um, to the hover setting. Uh, just keep it in mind when you change the trim to the left and right. It's going to change a whole bunch of physics on you. Um, so you, don't, you kind of want to wait so you get into a controlled hover and you start changing that trim over to the left and you're going to eventually bring the rudder pedal left with that to keep her going in a straight line because she's going to naturally want to um, rotate to the right. And there goes a clip on fraps, uh, bear with me, there is no landing there. So yeah, just nice and slow, I'm just going to do a nice slow controlled moving hover. And then now uh, over there we'll do a landing. Uh, I didn't really cover earlier, um, you guys have cushions of air when you come in. Um, unless you're coming in really fast, you can kind of hover about a foot or two off the ground before you come down onto the skids. So here I was just kind of slowly aiming over the trees. I'm just going to clear this little tree row and then we're going to land over here in the field. Um, in a few seconds here you'll see that cushion of air. Uh, that's when you get all that stuff coming off the ground, dust offs, whatever you want to call it. Obviously dust off in real life would be a medivac. Uh, maybe you guys can correct me on the proper term what that stuff is when you start kicking it off the ground there. Anyway, basically set the trim, keep your trim setting indicator up, play around with it, get used to it. Different loadouts are going to have different trim, which is going into physics and weight and all that kind of dynamics and stuff. But just get out there, have fun, play around, different servers, single player, whatever you got to do. Uh, so here's that cushion of air, right about now. We're not quite on the ground yet, as you can see, we're moving around. And I'm pretty sure the landing got cut out of here either, as well. Um, so yeah, just kind of hover till you're ready. And just slowly lower that collective, and you should eventually hear that nice, soft landing. 